So guys, EVs or electric vehicles catching fire is a bit of a hot topic here in Malaysia, well, quite literally. So that's why we've got an EV fire blanket demonstration here as organised by the Malaysian Fire Department or Bomber as well as Ziva. This is to show how an EV fire is supposed to be contained here in Malaysia. Let's check it out. So the thing with EVs catching fire is that once it affects the high voltage battery pack, it's no longer a regular fire. This is now a chemical fire or using the technical term, a thermal runaway. Once that happens, it's virtually impossible to stop the fire at its source. You literally have to just let this thermal runaway do its own thing, allow it to run its full course. If the bomber is to use regular water to stop the fire, they'll end up using tens of thousands of litres of water. And even then, they might not even be able to stop it within a couple of hours. That's exactly where the EV fire blanket comes in. All the bomber would have to do is literally to just cover their entire car with it and let the fire run its due course. The point of this fire blanket is not to stop the fire at its source, but to sort of contain the fire so it doesn't spread to other cars or buildings around it. This EV fire blanket is not your regular tarp. It's made out of a special high temperature fiberglass and it can withstand up to 1,600 degrees Celsius. The blanket itself is pretty heavy at almost 40 kilograms and it is massive. It's six meters by eight meters. It's designed to be able to cover most EVs out on the roads today. Well, maybe except for the Tesla Cybertruck. So guys, remember, if you are still afraid of EVs catching fire and burning out of control here in Malaysia, our local fire department, the Bomber, they've been properly trained to handle these incidents properly. But remember though, as big of an issue an EV catching fire is here in Malaysia, statistically, it is a lot more rare for an EV to catch fire compared to a regular petrol or diesel tar. It's just that we live in a world dominated by social media. If people see 10, 15 regular cars catching fire, nobody would even bat an eyelid. But as soon as they see one EV on fire, everybody will have their phones out, taking photos, taking videos, sharing them out on social media, and it will go viral. But the reality is, with data coming from all over the world, the cold hard fact is that an EV is far less likely to catch fire than a regular ICE vehicle. So the message I want to convey is that yes, while EVs may sometimes catch fire, it's nowhere near as common as you may think. And if it does happen here in Malaysia, our bomber is now well equipped, well trained to contain the situation. The answer is an EV fire blanket. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching everyone and stay safe.